Okay, we're looking at this really cool pattern that Gregor Mendel found while doing this study with the garden pea. So he planted almost 30,000 plants looking at the characteristics of the garden pea, seven characteristics, and each characteristic had a specific trait that was easily distinguishable. So we're looking at the characteristic of flower color. And in this case, the two traits that we're looking at are purple flower color and white flower color. So Mendel found, and let's go back and take a look. He found that with the garden pea, the garden pea could self-fertilize. And so that the, the sperm in the pollen of the anther could go inside the stigma and fertilize the egg inside. And he called this a true breeding plant. So true breeding. So that all offspring are like the parents. And true breeding comes from self-fertilization. Fertilization, self-fertilization. And he knew this because he had so many plants and he did this over and over again, self-fertilizing and making sure that all of the offspring in a true breeding plant always looked like the parents. So then he discovered that he could remove the anthers before the pollen was ready, before the sperm was ready, and uh, could remove that from plant one, and then take the pollen and the sperm from plant two and use that pollen to fertilize plant one so that he found that he could make any cross that he wanted to figure out how these traits, how these the traits of these characteristics are inherited from generation to generation. So that's what he did. He took parent cells, uh, parent plants, and um, he took true breeding plants, true breeding purple flower, and true breeding white flower, <clears throat> and developed a hybridization of these true breeding plants. So our definition of hybrid, an offspring of two different variation of variations of the garden pea. So this is the, the hybrid of a hybridization. Um, so this is a hybrid of a cross between purple, true breeding purple flower and true breeding white flower. And the pattern that he found was that 100% of that second generation were all purple flower. And, uh, or excuse me, all 100% of that first generation uh, after the parent, parent plants was 100% purple flower. And then the second generation, so when those purple flowers then self-fertilized, he found the pattern that there were always one white flower to every three purple flowers. Now remember, he used many, many, many plants. And in this um, special, in this case right here, where he's looking at flower color, he's got a total of 929 plants. And so, 705 of those 
turned out to be purple flower. And, and that is approximately 75.9% um, of the total. And then 224 of the 929 were white flower, which is about 24.1% and looking at these characteristics all of the char all seven characteristics over and over again he found that the ratio was always very close to 3 to 1 in that second generation okay so what does this mean what what is it that he found <clears throat> So what he described was happening, what Mendel described was happening, was that there were certain traits that are expressed. So let's look at this. this is, we're looking at traits. Certain traits are expressed. Oops, that's an S. And certain traits are latent. Only, only need a T on there. Now we use the terms dominant and recessive. What does that mean? So dominant means that the trait is inherited unchanged. So inherited, unchanged from the parent in a hybridization, a hybridization. Of our true breeding plants. Recessive means that the trait disappears disappears in a hybridization of those true breeding plants and so he found this over and over again with all seven characteristics that some of the traits were expressed and some of them were latent. Okay, what else did he find? So he found <clears throat> that the traits were not blended, that the traits remained separate. So let's take a look at that. So the traits, what did he find? He found that the traits remained separate. Oops, that's an E. That the plants possessed two copies plants had two copies of the trait for flower color And that recessive would only show if there was no dominant. Only show if there was no dominant.
So now we know what this means is that um, the two copies that he's talking about are the alleles on genes. That genes are the um, uh, mode of inheritance. They have the code for all of these traits, of all of these characteristics. And that each person has two copies or two alleles. So for every gene, there are two alleles. Now we know that there can be many alleles in a population in this model system that Mendel was looking at. Um, these, these, char these seven characteristics only had two alleles in the population, so it made it easy, but in much more complicated characteristics, there could be many alleles in a population, but this made it much easier. So there are two, but there are still always just two alleles in every individual. Okay. <clears throat> So what we want to look at now, we want to look at um, what, so he saw the phenotype and he came up with a pattern by looking at the phenotype. Now, so what, what is phenotype? Phenotype is what the organism looks like. So the outward physical appearance of the individual. So um, the trait, what the trait looks like. But now we know genes and we know alleles. And so we want to figure out the genotype. What is the genotype? So what alleles did each individual have? And how did they get inherited from parents to offspring? So we know that the traits remain separate. We know that each individual um, possessed two separate copies. Okay, so let's see. Um, let me make sure. Gene, what is gene? Gene is our um, hereditary, hereditary factor. And allele, that's alternate forms of a gene. So alternate forms of a gene. Okay, so we learned um, that in meiosis, that the chromosomes are replicated and then split up. The homologous pairs are split in meiosis 1, and the sister chromatids are split in uh, meiosis 2 to form gametes. And then these gametes get combined in fertilization. Uh, to form the offspring. So next, let's take a look at how those gametes are formed. Okay, hope you found that interesting.